Okay, guys, we did it. We made it. The Kickstarter for Fool's Blade has just finished. And oh my god, I, I cannot even fathom, I can't believe it, I can't conceive it, that we reached the level of support that we did. That you guys jumped in, the hype you showed, and the love you showed for Fool's Blade is... I, I can't even conceive it. It's it's unbelievable. As I'm recording this, we finished off at 11,779 backers, which is ludicrous. I My projections were not even remotely close to that. We were like looking at 3,000 backers, the original dice upgrade, as like the Hail Mary. As like, you know what? If we reach that, that would be crazy. But eh, we probably won't. You know, that's what we were thinking. And then we reached it. And then we said, okay. Let's add like four and 5,000 stretch goals. That'd be pretty crazy. And then we reached it. And then we added more. And then we added more. And then we said, okay, they are crushing every single stretch goal we throw at them. Let's add a Hail Mary 10,000 stretch goal to add a completely new mechanic to the game. And that can be the final boss in, in scope of the game and new rule sets, but also in kind of feeling, you know, having this 10,000 final goal stretch goal it's kind of the the final boss of of the community so we chucked it in we're like you know if we hit it amazing if we don't totally understandable and then you guys nearly got to 12,000 what is wrong with you <laughs> I, I cannot believe it but I'm so excited to hit this goal I'm so excited to begin this journey of fool's play with you guys I promise I promise I will not let you down this game will be quality it'll be fun it'll be in your hands it's not going to be some kickstarter game that gets delayed for two years i know a lot of people in the comments have had that shock of like circle you didn't expect this game to blow up like this is this going to be delayed for a billion years no it's not we've gone through the uh early like beta prints and the sample prints and things like that and a lot of balance changes of course again things are going to change the manual online is the beta manual so we're going to have some numerical changes some balance changes some wording changes there's also there's still a few typos in some of the cards some of you guys pointed out the typos some, some of you guys completely missed them so and we missed a lot of them so thank you guys for that for all of the you know quick uh updates or 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 change proposals that you guys made in the comments we really appreciate that um but yeah there's changes to come some small stuff some big stuff but the, the end product is going to be super high quality. I'm so proud of it. It's not going to be that much different than, than what you see from Kickstarter. We're going to have tiny little changes. The sword box is going to be so sick. I'm so excited for the sword box. That took too long for me to design and to figure out. And But we made it, and it's going to be awesome. And I'm so glad to update you guys when that's ready. But yeah, we hit the boss um, mechanic stretch goal. And I'm like happy to, to, to talk about that. It's in early development still, but uh, I can talk about some of the mechanics that we're looking at right now. I can't show you finished art or anything like that because we weren't even sure if we'd reach this goal. So while I was working on videos and other things, I wasn't pouring a bunch of time into finished artwork when we were just working on the mechanics. But currently, what we're looking at with the boss mechanic is a system where we inject new tavern cards into the tavern deck. And those tavern cards can be summoner cards for a boss fight. The thematics, the aesthetic for it is that, you know, usually the tavern, you're fighting with your buddies and you're coming back from a quest and you're tired and you're and you're sabotaging your buddies. Well, sometimes a monster or boss is big and bad enough that he comes to you. The, the dude shows up at the tavern and causes havoc. So you can sometimes draw these tavern cards and we're looking to make this boss mode optional for people that don't want to play with this mode. They totally can just leave out these few cards. Um, but for those that want to play with this boss mechanic, it, you can inject it right into the game, no problem. So there's going to be a certain amount of tavern cards. We're still figuring that out right now and down the line with expansions and things. I'm sure we're going to make more boss fights. But right now we're going to inject a few tavern cards into the game that when you draw them, it'll say, you know, X approaches, you know, this creature approaches. And then you'll have a certain amount of time either instantly with that turn or a turn rotation again still figuring out the system is in you know alpha um when you draw this tavern card now everyone is in the tavern together and suddenly they got to work together as a team the buddies that you once were were screwing with and stealing from you have to go oh oh snap 
All right, uh, for right now, you're my ally, and you guys have to work together to defeat this boss. So when you draw that card, you would then retrieve that specific boss monster card or multiple pieces. We're looking at bosses being multiple pieces, which is very exciting, not just singular cards. They could be multiple cards from, you know, two limbs, you know, coming out from, from, from each side of the, the main body. Um, you would retrieve those cards from the box, and you would put that in play. Um, and then all of the players are gonna take turns fighting together and beating this thing or upgrading their equipment and trying to, to, to blast this thing. But this boss in its current state and the, the current mechanic that we're looking at uh, blocks the monster decks until you defeat it or it gets away or it beats you. So this is what we're currently looking at. We're very excited to be working on this. Um, we're gonna be cranking this out and, and working on it real hard in the coming weeks and to make sure this isn't like some crazy, you know, delayed mechanic. This isn't something that we're gonna work on for months and months and months and months. And it's gonna delay the game to some crazy degree. That's that's not what we're looking at here. Um, it's something that we know we can inject into the game naturally. It's something we thought about a while ago, um, and we're just really excited to to put something like this in the game. I'm really excited to have this 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 contrast of you're screwing over your friends and you're going on these quests, and then suddenly, oh, oh, that guy that I just made weaker and stole two of his cards. I now have to beg for his forgiveness because I'm now fighting Gilgamesh the Destroyer, or <laughs> whatever we name these bosses. Um, I'm very excited for this mechanic. I'm very excited for Fool's Blade. I am blown away to a degree that I I didn't know was humanly possible. I, I there's a joy in my chest that I didn't even know could be summoned out of me. It's 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 a crazy feeling. It is a surreal feeling. It is an unreal feeling. I keep making jokes saying like I'm ready for Kickstarter to email us like ah uh, actually it was a glitch on our end you only got five backers <laughs> i'm waiting for something like that um it's unbelievable and i'm so grateful and i'm so thankful this this does not come lightly this is not something that i'm overlooking or thinking lightly of this really is an amazing thing you guys have allowed to exist and i couldn't be more thankful so thank you you guys are just as much a part of fool's blade as i ever was and I'm so glad to continue making it a really good game, to continue upgrading it, and for you guys to be there along that journey the entire way. So thank you guys so, so much. You can check out updates for the game on my Twitter account, or X, or whatever they call it now. You can find it on my twacks. Um, or you can just check out foolsblade.com, where we're gonna be updating it to get your guys' info, to get the game to you guys, and any other extra stuff that we're going to be adding and we're going to be upgrading the website as we go so check out the website check out my twitter for more updates and things like that thank you guys so much i don't care that i've said thank you a thousand times i'm going to say it a thousand and fifty five times thank you thank you thank you thank you this is awesome i'm excited and i'll see you guys in the next one peace